Strawberry, you're very, very pretty. <laughs> For the next few days, I'm here in Changzhou in Hebei province. I'll be going to some interesting places, trying out some really exciting things, and I'll bring you along. When people think of Changzhou, what may come to mind is this massive lion structure. And it's actually ironclad sculpture, and it's from the year 953, I think. It's very, very old, over 1,000 years old. Previously, over the thousand years, it's been damaged by uh, weather. It fell over at one stage in the 1800s. So this is actually a replica now, but it's a one-to-one -one size. So this is how big the original was over a thousand years ago. There's so much to see and do around here. Changzhou is famous for a lot of things. Yeah, let's go out and see what's going on in Changzhou. How cool is this? And Changzhou is known as the home of Chinese martial arts. So we're at a martial arts school here and it's a normal school. The kids have lessons and they learn a lot of martial arts here. So the master is going to teach me something now. Very excited, it should be cool. But before teaching me some moves, the master wanted to show me his collection. So we're at the school and they have like this outbuilding just off the playground and it is absolutely filled with these ancient weapons. It's like a museum. Incredible. So Changzhou is really famous for its martial arts. It's on the road to Beijing on the way, a couple of hours outside. So it became like this place that everybody trained and learned how to protect people and things. And basically, if you're rich, you would put all your stuff in one of these boxes and uh, the people from Changzhou would protect the boxes. So that's one of them, that's a real one. Everything here is real. Everything is so heavy and real. And yeah, very, 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 very cool. I could spend hours in here. Okay, okay. okay. I'm with some friends here. Hello! Hello! <laughs> they, they all practice the martial arts, very cool. <laughs> Okay, see you later. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. First up, he asked me to attack him and showed me loads of crazy ways that he could beat me up. He then taught me a few poses and helped me to correct my form. It was pretty obvious how much training and dedication is involved in martial arts. So we watched some of his students to see some different martial arts styles. weapons they want to, which is super cool. Very athletic, very fast, flexible. Really, really impressive for the age of them. Some only learning for two years. Yeah. the master was so friendly and humble and I really want to come back and spend more time learning from him. Bye-bye. It's about lunchtime, so we stopped at a famous local restaurant, and the speciality here beside the Great Canal of China is 
chicken hot pot, but it's kind of like a different chicken hot pot. It's not your standard hot pot. It's like this. I've tried a lot of different hot pots, but I like this one best. There's so much flavor. And uh, yeah, they said it kind of, it's like a mix between North and South. The people from Sichuan brought the mala tongue sort of the spicy, the spicy ma flavor. And yeah, mixed it with the hot pot of the North. Mm. Very, very nice. I love when you go North, they give you these pancakes. Good. Ah, bye-bye. See you, see you, see you. And now I'm on my way to Wu Chao, which is the home of Chinese acrobatics. Everyone's seen it in the circus and seen it on TV, on the internet, but I'm going to go and see it in real life. And the landscape here is crazy. It's like so green and flat. Very nice day. Okay, so we're about to go in now, and basically this whole place is styled like ancient China and when you go in it's supposed to be like you're in the you know the old times so uh, yeah it should be exciting <laughs> there are so many stages around there's something happening over here a stage here selling things and they have lots of these gates, it's really good for taking pictures. No matter what time you come, there's just something always happening, so you can just walk around and see everything. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty mad, this girl was balancing this pot on her own. It's like 90 kg, I think they said. And they have the little girl in it, which, uh, you know, she's probably 30 kg, so 120 kg, no problem. Incredibly strong and also balancing it because you know it's not even on both sides so yeah really cool there is also a theater at the park and luckily a show was just about to begin so i've had a fantastic time here in changzhou Hobe is lovely and it's absolutely massive. There's so much to see and do and the people are really like really dedicated to what they do. Just no matter what they do, they do it for so long and they're absolute masters of whatever they do. Fantastic place. I'll definitely have to come back. Where should I go next time? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.